Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the champion jockey Ryan Lewis steers the six-year-old gelding I Am Fred back to winning form in the SBL anniversary trophy at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. TNT's Gold Cup winner, Hello World, now undefeated in six starts, while adding the President's Cup to his log of victories. The four-year-old Philip Batukara impressively takes Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. to within three of 100 stakes trams in North America. And a stakes win for Jamaican jockey Dane Nelson at Canada's Century Mile, where he is the reigning champion jockey. Plus the usual check-in on other Caribbean victories in North America. Our opening story from Jamaica. Saturday's main event at Caymanus Park, the SVL 23rd anniversary trophy with six starters going five and a half furlongs. The one horse, Mahogany, with title chasing jockey Radish Roman aboard. Here's Ryan Lewis eyeing back to back SVL anniversary wins aboard number two, the second favorite, I Am Fred, a talented six year old gelding, but without a win in over a year. Mahogany, the three to five favorite, I Am Fred at two to one, good support too for the two seven to two bets, sensational move, the five horse coming off two wins in a row, and six is that a fact, boasting a 50% win record of eight victories in 16 starts. Let's get Brian Rickman's race call now as the field left the back stretch. I am Fred and the speedy joys golden matching stride. Sensational move breathing down the necks. A gift from Ben is right there toward the outside of Mahogany now asked to pick up on the fence as they leave the three. Is that a fact? Needs to find maybe seven. As they come arriving at the final 516th, I Am Fred intends to go all the way. Joyce Golden in the center. Sensational move on the outside. Mahogany gets the run on the rail, but looks lackluster at the moment. As this I Am Fred is churning on inside the final 316th, can they catch I Am Fred? I Am Fred is fleet-footed and running away from them. They seem to be left in the wake of a crippling move. It is I Am Fred out in front on the Ray and Lewis. He's looking for his third win. This is the SVL 23 anniversary trophy i am fred will give it to him what a way to snap a six race winless run with rayon lewis aboard i am fred has no challengers for his first win since june last year when he won the distinctly irish trophy to close four consecutive trophy wins lewis with a four timer on the afternoon his best day in the saddle since last year's mid-september five timer lewis and trainer jason da costa repeating as svl anniversary winners they had scored in last year's 22nd anniversary race with She's My Destiny. Malayda Zan's I Am Fred by eight and a half lengths as a two to one second favorite over his stablemate. Is that a fact in a Da Costa 1-2 finish? The winning time for Saturday's Supreme Ventures Limited 23rd anniversary trophy race, one minute 5.55 seconds for five and a half furlongs. Weekend racing at Caymanus Park continued with a Sunday card featuring the Millard Zayde Memorial Cup that served up a thrilling finish and a good weekend for the maestro trainer Philip Fiani, inform jockey Radish Roman aboard the four-year-old Colt Inspire Force doing the job for him here from a position that winning had looked hardly likely. The band is kept on the extreme outside. Dot of Love racing over on the rail. A Jaguar just in behind them. Watch Milos now winding through and getting a run down against the rail, but still it is Chocomo. Milos now beginning to finish with a burst of speed down against the rail. La Pan is also right there too, and it is Milos with that lead. Here is Inspire Force now flying on the outside. Milos just Inspire Force. They've gone by together. Inspire Force beats Milos. Roman sneaking up with a fast finish for the narrow win, completing three weekend victories for the 14-time champion trainer Fiani, who had posted a double on Saturday. The ACK Stables Inspire Force, as the 8-5 favorite, completes back-to-back -back wins, scoring by three quarters of a length over Milos, clocking 107.50 for the five and a half furlong Millard Zadie Cup Sprint. Trinidad and Tobago's Santa Rosa Park staged race day six of the year on Saturday with eight runners contesting the President's Cup feature. The field for the nine and a half furlong trip included defending champion Crown Prince, last year's Triple Crown winner in the headlines and their John O'Brien stablemate, Hello World, on a five race winning streak. And here's race caller John Rupert picking them up with the best fancied pair taking control. As they go towards the far turn, Crown Prince is the leader. Hello World on the far side. And the two John O'Brien pair will pull three lengths from Leonardo Angel. In the headlines is in the hunt now. She moves into third. Then comes Leonardo Angel back to fourth. Princess Aruna is fifth. Down in the back is Superbird, Pawana Putra, and Stroke of Luck. They're coming from the 400 meter pole. And Kelowan is asking Hello World now. On to Crown Prince. Hello World, the leader from Crown Prince in the headlines. Swings very, very wide with her challenge. 
down the stretch they come and it's hello world who has asserted himself in the headlines is running a mega race on the outside then comes crown prince and princess aruna but hello world continues his track and six in a row hello world much the best here hello world on an afternoon stroll under dylan kellowan's gentle handling near the finish eight wins in ten starts now for the poon tip stud farms gold cup winning colt dylan kellowan rode a four-timer on the afternoon including a natural hat-trick with scores in the fourth fifth and sixth races hello world by seven lengths as the one to nine favorite chased by in the headlines and crown prince in a one two three sweep for champion trainer john o'brien who has now won four of the last five president's cup races two minutes 1.81 seconds the winning time for nine and a half furlongs next santa rosa race day the first of august following the cancellation of the scheduled july 13 meet that savage joseph jr story now the barbadian trainer closing in on 100 stakes wins in north america since arriving in florida from barbados in 2011 his log of added money wins now at 97. Well, the latest of them coming in saturday's 75 thousand dollar powder break stakes over a mile and 70 yards at Gulfstream park edgar zass in the saddle for him here aboard the gray four-year-old filly Batukada stalking the bunched leaderboard coming off the final bend. He raced to the top of the stretch. On the outside, Towser for a narrow lead. Angel Natashiko is second. Toward the outside, Jan's girl Zaya slaloms through traffic on Batukata, and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, one ten and three. Batukata loose for the drive. Fresh legs. Here she comes now. Down the center. Batukata straight and strong and clearing off. Jan's girl's gonna try to hold on to second with Angel Natashiko and Chick Shadow. Batu Kata, an authoritative powder break winner. Three away now from the center mark in stakes wins in North America for Safi, Gulfstream Park's leading trainer for the current season with 42 wins, 16 clear of nearest rival Jose D'Angelo. Batu Kata, as the four to one bet, wins the powder break stakes easily by six and a quarter lengths, ahead of the favorite Jan's girl, with Angel Nadeshiko third in a 1 3 finish for Safi, who had three Gulfstream Park winners on the weekend, plus scores at Parks Racing and Churchill Downs in the past week. 140.11, the winning time for the mile and 70 yard trip. Let's close off now with some Canadian racing from Edmonton Central Mile, where Jamaican Day Nelson is a reigning champion jockey and landed his second stakes win of the current season on Saturday. Aboard the nine to five favorite, Miss Check, Nelson is second here, closing in on the pace setting Barbadian jockey Enrico Prescott with a 10 to one outsider, Pretty Aria. Pretty Aria. On the front end mission, 43 and 4. Now a half length leader over Miss Check. And Big Hug well within her sights. Forster reckon with top of the lane. And down the stretch. Pretty Aria has the lead. It's Miss Check who's down for the drive now. Big Hug is three wide. Coming on up the inside. Forster reckon with Miss Check. And all out Nelson drive to a two length lead. Big Hug second. Showing into third now. Burrow down. Miss Check is the leader inside the 16th big hug late down to the line miss check four-time jamaican champion jockey dane warrior chief nelson with a fighting finish for the win securing his second shirley vargo stakes win in three years having scored with dan shoes in 2022 second consecutive stakes win this for nelson and miss check coming off last month's triumph in the red tail landing stakes miss check wins by three quarters of a length as a nine to five favorite covering the seven furlong trip in 122.43. The usual weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now before we go. In the past week, since our last show, I've counted 76 victories. Among them, the Barbadian Rashid Hughes with three wins at Centre Mile. The usual flurry of wins at Assiniboia Downs, where Barbadian riders Antonio Whitehall, Demaria Bino, and the veteran Ronaldo Cumberbatch, along with TNT's Ronald Alley, led the way with multiple victories all with stakes wins as well. TNT's Karen Kellowan had three wins at Hastings. Veteran Jamaican rider Trevor Simpson had a Lethbridge stakes win among three victories over the weekend. And Kevin Krieger, who is from St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's, of course, where NBA Hall of Famer Tim Duncan is from. Well, he rode three winners at Emerald Downs. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.